And uh, let's see. Uh, let's go back to doodads. And uh, I like Rock Giant, but the problem with Rock Giant is that, and that I discovered this, is that it uh, it doesn't have any collisions. So you, 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 unless you put some specific blocking, invisible blocking around it, it units are just going to be able to walk through them. So I'd actually recommend not using this rock unless it's outside your uh, outside any actual playable area. Like I wouldn't put one here because then I'd have to do all this custom invisible blocking because of the uh, weird uh, disappearance of any sort of collision for it. And uh, I think regular rocks are fine, so I'll put a couple. Rocks like to be on dirt, so place them on the dirt. And they like to be around other rocks, so it's good to do that, and maybe there. And let's put some vines on the on the edge. Oops, that doesn't look very good. There on the edges here. There's some nice vines. And there. Oops. I just keep clicking it. If it doesn't look good, then I'll rearrange it. And maybe some up here. Okay, and uh, what else do we got here? I just like to go through and see. Okay, some foliage maybe. Place some little sandy bits here. And yeah. I haven't been able to find the flower that I've seen some maps use. Um, I wonder if I just search for it. Flower under all. Char flower. Ooh, that's not what I want. Unless I, I want to put that there. No, I don't. Um, so I'll have to leave out flowers for now. But And birds are good to put sometimes on map on a map like this especially. It just appears as an arrow, but um, they look pretty good in game. They're not just an arrow. Uh, what else do we got? Waterfall. Okay, waterfall positioning. So I'll place it whatever. Select it. Uh, it's kind of hard to select. You kind of have to drag. There we go. And then hit enter because you can't really double click it. Um, because of the way the model's set up. And I like to change the scale to maybe around 250% and rotation. We want it to kind of be here because it's going to be coming out of this area or this area. So maybe like that. And uh, press OK. OK, good. Uh, I lost selection of it. Um, the way you actually should really move it is um, through this thing because it's impossible to drag around really. So I'm gonna move it a bit left and a bit down. There we go, that's kinda where I want it. And then to move it down now so it's actually coming out of the cliff somehow, you just change the height. Uh, maybe, let's see what negative one does. Oh, that didn't do anything. How about uh, negative five? Okay, I was looking a little bit better but um, control right click drag here uh, you can see that it's still not really coming out of the right thing so um, I think I'm gonna move this over a bit and this up a bit okay and then I'm going to make it negative 10 height now uh, it just needs a little bit more negative 14 oops too much negative 12 okay there we go and then control copy and paste and let's put another oh, man. oh I actually got selection of it that time that's interesting uh, enter and let's make the height negative 12 again and rotate this one down a bit and maybe scale 225 oops way too low negative 6 yeah now let's move this closer to the other one so I think that will be good and then we need to move it uh, one more and maybe there and move it down a bit negative eight okay so now you can see that and uh, I need to obviously fix this but I'll leave it for now and then you can do more waterfall waterfalls along there